What's up, polished friends? I know it's been a minute since my last video. Um, last year was probably the worst year ever. I had so much loss in my life. Uh, we lost four of our greyhounds. Two were to old age, um, so they led nice, happy lives. But two we lost emergently. Um, one of those was 13, so he also had a happy life. But we lost Clara, my six-year-old, who was my heart and soul dog. And we lost her emergently to a pancreatic cyst that ruptured that we had no idea she even had. And I lost her in the same weekend as Idol, our oldest greyhound. So that was really rough. And then about a week before American Thanksgiving, my dad got really sick unexpectedly and he passed away two days before Thanksgiving. So I spent this year kind of just living with my grief, kind of seeing what that felt like, seeing what my new normal is. Um, losing a parent, you know it's gonna happen, but when it does happen, it's like, wow, my life is upside down now. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're in the upside down. If you watch Stranger Things, you know what I'm talking about. So I haven't been very creative this year and I really missed that side of myself. Um, I also missed interacting with all of you. I love your stories. I love hearing from you. I love hearing what you like and what you don't like about my channel. So I'd like to say I'm back, but I've said that before. Um, I'm here and I'm here to give you as much content as humanly possible with having a day job as a neurosurgery office manager. Um, but if you don't know who I am, I'm Summer and uh, you can call me Always Polished and this is my nail art channel. In this video, I'll be showing you swatches in different lighting of four polishes that were sent to me from my Beauty Addiction Cosmetics, better known as MBA Cosmetics, a cruelty-free, woman-owned indie brand from Ohio. But this brand doesn't just sell nail polish. They have glitzy, fantastic pigments aplenty. Check out their store at mbacosmetics.com. I was able to pick out four products I wanted to try, so of course I picked nail polish. And let me show you what I picked. First up is Cosmic Rainbow for its pinky glittery goodness. Glow My Gosh is next to go with Cosmic Rainbow because I love a shimmery orange and pink gradient. Girl Crush is next for my fairy ethereal side. And lastly, Kabouchin because it kind of reminds me of Cookie Monster ice cream from my favorite local ice cream shop. Here's a closer look at all four polishes, which are not a part of the same collection. They were just my faves from the brand. Okay, let's get to polishing. Underneath my swatches, I'll be using Super Chic Lacquer's Bring It On Base Coat because it dries super fast and I don't have to wait super long after applying it to do my swatches. First up, in no particular order, is Girl Crush from the Girlfriend Collection. Girl Crush is described as a semi-sheer baby pink shimmer with green shift. The brush isn't my wide styled preference. I just find a wide style easier to use, but this brush is very easy to maneuver and flowing the polish on my nail is easy to do. You will see in these swatches that I don't quite make it all the way to the base of the nail, which is not on purpose. <laughs> it was caused by my hand to camera placement and not being able to see the portion of my nail. Oops. I was drawn to this shade because it looks so magical and airy. I'm really into showing my nail line lately and I am loving lighter colors, so this shade is just very enchanting. I'm only doing two coats because life is too short for three, but 
I will show you the polishes in different lighting. Stay tuned. Here's two coats of Girl Crush with the Mooncat top coat. And here is Girl Crush under my very bright ring light. I'll show it in different lighting in a moment. And I have a fairy plate from Maniology that would really create a magical nail art look with Girl Crush as a base coat. Oh, and here's one of my five greyhounds, Harry. He was supervising. <laughs> and my current foster dog, Axel, who is a street dog rescued from the Middle East looking for his forever home. Learn more from the nonprofit I foster for, Gulf Coast Greyhound Adoptions.org. Here is the same swatch of Girl Crush under practically no lighting, even though it kind of looks like it just has a matte top coat. And here's the live action under the same practically no lighting. I think it's important to show the different lightings because it's easy to fall in love with the polish under one lighting and then wear it all day under a totally different lighting. Here's a side by side of the difference in lighting. Glow My Gosh is next and it's from the Rainbow Glow collection. Glow My Gosh is described as a stunning shimmery and shifty coral that shifts from coral to pink to gold. We've got that thinner formula with this one, so the polish isn't globby and is easy to work with. I just love the variance of multi-chromes, especially when there isn't a need for a base color like white or black, making the application less complicated in the end. Glow My Gosh is almost opaque on the second coat, but again, I don't mind showing off my nail line. In fact, in a lot of cases, I've grown to prefer it. Here's two coats of Glow My Gosh with the top coat under my ring light. And here's the live view under my ring light as well. And we can really see the coral shift to that pink and gold. And here it is under just my ceiling light. So in case you work in an office like me under fluorescent lighting, here's an idea of what that might look like. Still gorgeous. And here's the comparison of the two lightings. Cosmic Rainbow is next, and this shade is from the Celestial Rainbow Collection, and there is an eyeshadow that matches this polish, so check it out. And are you seeing the shimmery, glitzy goodness of this shade? Does not disappoint. The MBA Cosmetics website advertises this collection as a semi-translucent, so they are not expected to be a solid opaque color as you can see in my swatch. The formula is easy to maneuver and the brush, though not my favorite, is still easy to work with. The opacity does build on that second coat and I am so thrilled I chose this shade because it is just so extravagant. Here's my swatch photo under the ring light and again, there is a top coat over the top of it. And here is the live where we really get to see the multi-chrome shift of coral pinks and purples. Here's Cosmic Rainbow under just my ceiling light and a live view of what that looks like. And the glitziness doesn't disappoint. It definitely still shines through. So under that not so bright lighting, we can still have some fun. Last but not least is Kabouchin, which I really hope I'm pronouncing right because I had to look it up and I'm still not so sure that I am. I chose this shade because I'm trying to open myself up to textured polishes. I stayed away from them for a while because I wasn't sure what nail art to pair them with, so I'm definitely late to the textured polish game. I don't know that this shade is a part of a collection. It may be a loner, but don't quote me on that. I do know, however, that these gold flakes are very bright and that the black shard particles make me think of ice cream. The formula is thicker than the previous three shades, but again, not gloopy, and it does get opaque on that second coat. 
Here's two coats with a top coat under my ring light, and here is the live. I'd like to try some stamping nail art with white polish over this shade. I think that could be something very pretty and creative. Here is Kabouchin under the boring ceiling light, and here's the live, and notice how the gold particles still shine. And here's the comparison of the two different lightings. So what I want to know is, what do you think of the polishes I picked out? And do you have any experience with this brand? Let me know down in the comments. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have fun swatches and nail art lined up for my next couple videos, so be sure to subscribe and in between videos, find me on Instagram. I'd love to connect. Until next time, stay polished, my friends.